Ornamental agave are a common sight in Southern California, both in home gardens and in large-scale commercial nurseries. Dozens of varieties can be found in landscaping in parks, businesses, and right in your own backyard, ranging from small plants to massive species over 10 feet tall. However, sometimes agave will appear to rapidly thicken with drooping or shriveled leaves and discolored sections around the base, as you can see with the agave on the left. Damage like this most often appears in mature agave and, unfortunately, happens to some of the biggest ornamental species. From the outside, the agave appears to be rotting. And worse still, if you give the plant a pull, it often begins to fall apart, and sometimes sections or even the whole thing comes off in your hand. In severe cases, the entire agave simply collapses under its own weight. What's killing your agave? The answer may be these beetles, commonly known as agave snout weevils or just agave weevils. Adults are a matte black or dark brown and are about one half to three quarters of an inch long. They have a characteristic long curved snout, almost half as long as their body length. Larvae can be a little bit bigger and grow to be about an inch long before pupating into adults. They have a shiny brown head capsule, a yellowish white body with two short tube-like projections on the posterior, and no legs. While they don't fly, adult weevils can walk long distances to find new agave to infest. They burrow into the base of agave plants to lay eggs, sometimes leaving distinctive holes in the leaves. The eggs hatch into larvae that voraciously eat the roots and base of the agave. Worse still, the adults leave behind bacteria that begin to rot the agave from the inside and spread as more of the plant is damaged by the larvae feeding. The combination of feeding damage from the larvae and rot from the bacteria ends up killing the infested agave. Because they live underground, you're unlikely to see the weevils or notice anything is wrong until the agave begins to sicken and die, and by that point, it is likely too late. Symptoms of agave weevils are distinctive. Beyond the drooping leaves, discoloration, and rotting core, lifting up part of the plant reveals a dark cavity eaten away by the weevils and bacterial rot. Additionally, you'll often find adults or larvae moving around in the dead agave. You might also see the larvae of bromeliad flies feeding on the rotting material. Adult bromeliad flies look a bit like honeybees and are a species of hoverfly that are often important pollinators. Their larvae are distinct from weevil larvae because they have no visible head, are smaller, and are a darker brown-tan color. Seeing them side by side, the difference is apparent. Bromeliad flies like these are opportunistic and take advantage of the damage caused by weevils to feed on the dying plant material as opposed to causing damage themselves. So while you shouldn't worry about the bromeliad flies hurting your plant, their presence often indicates a very advanced agave weevil infestation. But what should you do if you find an agave weevil infestation? Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of options for saving an agave that is already showing symptoms. At this point, most of the roots have been eaten or decayed, and the plant is basically dead. For home gardeners, removing infested plants and digging up the base of the agave is key to remove the weevils and prevent them from infesting any of your other plants. Be sure to dig down a bit to get all larvae and pupae in the soil around the base of the plant. Cover and dispose of infested material to ensure weevils don't escape. To prevent infestations, make sure any agave you are growing are healthy and are placed in well-draining soil. Healthier plants are more resistant to pests in general. You might also consider planting any new agave bare root so you can inspect them and ensure no weevils are present. Smaller, narrow-leafed agave species are often less susceptible to agave weevils, so consider planting those varieties instead if weevils are a reoccurring problem in your location. Finally, while not generally recommended, applying soil drenches of systemic insecticides with the active ingredient imidacloprid prior to weevil infestation can protect your plants and kill any weevils that find them. If you choose this route, note that you will need to continue to apply insecticides to ensure continued protection, be sure to follow all directions on the label, and don't apply insecticides to agave that will be flowering, as this may harm visiting bees and other pollinators. For commercial growers, cull any infested or symptomatic plants, and be sure to cover all infested material for disposal. Scout for the presence of weevils on a regular basis, and apply systemic insecticides that contain imidacloprid to agave close to symptomatic plants. Be aware of agave nearby that may be a source of infestation, including in neighboring properties, wild areas, or even ornamental agave in your own landscaping on site. You can also prophylactically apply systemic insecticides to your agave on a schedule, although scouting and spot treating around infestations will likely be more effective and will reduce your insecticide use. Hopefully, this information helps you both identify and prevent agave weevil infestations, and allows you to continue to grow agave without interference from this damaging pest. If you'd like to learn more information, check out the UCIPM website or other extension materials linked in the description.